All right, everybody, after 23 years of waiting, the sequel to Baldur's Gate 3 is finally here. Two is finally here, Baldur's Gate 3. And I'm so excited. Let's just jump in and start playing. We're gonna play in Tactician, which is the hardest difficulty. We're just gonna jump in and make our character. You know you're powerful when you don't have to walk, you float. For those who don't know, those tadpoles go into your brain, and then they eventually who hatch. Are you? And then when they hatch, you turn into a mind flayer. Well, let's see. We're going to be a custom character. I recommend you play a custom character. Don't play an origin character. They're your party members that you'll find throughout the world. I'm gonna be Dan. You need to guard him. Choose one. I a a guardian. Oh, you. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't do all the options. Okay, so... Origin is custom. We're gonna be... What do they add for humans? Let's see. Humans get... Select the skill to be efficient. Carrying rate is increased by a quarter. Civil militia. Weapon pursuit with spear spikes. Halberd. Move 9 meters per turn. Oh, so... They didn't give humans any sort of extra bonus. They have very weak bonuses then. Resilience, advantage on saving those against poison, dark, combat training. Oh, they removed any any racial that gives you like stat bonuses at all. They're all gone. They took away all of them. So that way you can, but you still get the like flavor stuff like uh, dark vision and you're re-rolling on a zero and stuff you still get that stuff but you don't get any like of the like dwarves got an ability where you would get extra hit points every like every level up and then also you get your stat points as well but they took that away because that would be too strong so you basically play what you want without worrying about that the other stuff. Oh, never mind. They, that's they still have it. Hold on, never mind. Uh, human. Oh, uh, humans just get proficiency in spears, spikes, halberds, armor, fishy light, and shields. And 
Well, humans kind of got shafted. Because <laughs> humans got a plus one in all stats. To replace it, now they just get to have a... Be proficient in a skill, and you get a little more carry weight. And you also get proficiency with spikes and stuff, but... Uh, variant humans got a feat, and that was like, that made them like the best. Dragons get a breath attack. Yeah, all, all races get the same stats now, which is plus two and plus one, wherever you want them to go. They get a little more carrying weight too, though, which is like, eh. It's okay. Halfling gets some really nice stuff. Half orc. We land a critical hit with a melee weapon. Your damage dice are tripled instead of doubled. Ooh. Half elf. Proficiency. So civil militia is the what they gave these two it, to replace the big stats they used to get. Save throw against being charmed. Magic can't put you to sleep. You can see in the dark. So, half elf is just better human. Skill to be proficient in. Well, it's fine. Gith Yankee. Uh, knowledge, thirteen skills, chosen ability, cantrip, mage hand, martial prodigy, base speed. Half elf is like human, but you get some a couple of elf features. Oh, and there's sub races for elf, so movement speed is increased. Cantrip. So stats-wise, it seems like there's really no reason to go human <laughs> other than that skill, which is okay. It's it's all right. Yeah, humans don't get sub races like the others. Uh, I think you don't either. Dwarf is good, but dwarf is small, so they don't get to. They get disadvantage using two-handed weapons. Gold gets uh, one hit point every level. Armor training. Draugr resistance. Shield dwarf. We're definitely going paladin. We get lay on hands. Use your... Uh, Blessed touch to heal creatures and cure it of poisons and diseases. Divine sense, advantage on attack rolls against celestial fiends and undead. But to channel the power obtained with their paladin oath. So we're gonna go. We're gonna be human though. This is I, it's gonna be me. I'm Dan the Paladin. We're gonna be male. Body type. Kind of heroic. So we have small, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and then huge. I think we'll go like the almost big. Actually, so it looks like it's small female presenting body, uh, small male presenting body, big, and then uh, big as well. We're going to go big, big man, I think. Big male. Where to next? Hmm. Let's hope the locals are... Hell, be wary. This place is trapped. It's open. There's me Where to next? Hmm. 
Let's hope hells. Something just woke up down here. Beware. It's opened. I think I like four. Hmm. No, five. Let's hope hells. Something just woke up down here. Be it's open. More of those wretched things. I like three, I think. Let's see, skin tone. Maturity. Freckle, freckle intensity. Genitals. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no they have penis options oh god you know I really don't care <laughs> okay we're very manscaped that's not bad Body art. Let's go hair first. Yes. Oh, there's so many hair options. Yes. No. <laughs> Bald is best. Facial hair. Yes. Oh, that music background's amazing. Looking good. Uh huh. Down, down by the river. Down, down by the river. And a van down by the river. Eyes. Looks fine. Body art, I don't think we need any. On this character. Yeah, I don't think we need. What about piercing? Do you have anything like holy looking? Fangs, Minotaur ring, easy breezy. Commoner ring. Bard piercings, no. Nothing that screams righteous paladin. Mm. Nose rings are righteous. <laughs> okay, facial hair, makeup, eyes. Don't need any makeup. Go up. All right, so we are Paladin. Our sub oath is Oath of Vengeance. You or your allies' weapon attacks deal additional two rating damage and can daze enemies for two turns. Uh, oath of Vengeance Paladins abide by the following tenets. Fight the greater evil, exerting your wisdom, identifying the high moral higher morality in any given situation, and fight for it. No mercy for the wicked. Chastise those who dole out their villainy by wiping their blight from the worlds forever. <laughs> yes. Insight religion. We are a noble gets persuasion and history. Soldier, athletics, intimidation. Criminal, entertainer, urchin, sage. Guild artisan is persuasion, insight, and persuasion. So, as a paladin, I get athletics, history,
plus two. Noble, history, and persuasion. Persuasion is always good to have. Insight and persuasion. Outlander, folk hero. Animal handling survival. Entertainer, criminal, charlatan. Acolyte. Insight, religion. Those are two checks I'll struggle with. So it's good to have those. I'll have persuasion, intimidation, insight, Okay, so Athletics, Intimidation, and Persuasion are base abilities for us. Select an additional skill. Where do I do the human select additional skill thing? Oh, it's right here. Okay, this is where I get to pick it. Okay, so it's all here. We got a point buy system. Dexterity, uh, no, we can drop that. Get constitution up there. Plus two, plus one. Let's flip it. So it's 16, 16. Um... When you're choosing your stats, remember, odds do nothing for you. We're going to lower our, our dexterity. Intellect is a dump stat. It's already as low as it'll get. Same with dexterity. Because we are we are in heavy armor. We don't need dexterity for anything. Other than dexterity checks, but that'll be fine. Uh, minus, we're going to be in heavy armor, so our armor class, when you were in heavy armor, ignores your dexterity, and it's just your armor that gives you the armor plus shield will be, will give us an 18 AC, which will be great. Um, if we're wearing medium armor, medium gets to add dex to their armor, but heavy armor does not, so we don't need to worry about dexterity at all. All right, so... Don't want to have an odd number. Hmm. Uh, when you level, you only get more stat points every four levels, and you get to pick two stat points every four levels. You don't get a point every level. Now, there's a lot of nasty wisdom saves, so I don't really want a negative in wisdom. I really don't, but... I mean, we can do it. And then next level up, we get a point in Constitution, a point in Charisma, and then we have those capped out. I think that'll work. Eight is as low as you can go in this one. So I'm thinking, so when we get our, when we hit level four, we'll put one point in Constitution, one point in Charisma, and then we'll be in a very good tanky spot. Because I kind of want to be a tank for our guy. Uh, we really don't use Wisdom, we don't use Intelligence, we don't use Dexterity for anything. So we can dump those. There's a lot of Wisdom rolls, but we have a Priest in our party that can make those rolls for us. Yeah, Wisdom is a Cleric stat in this. Skill proficiencies. I get a bonus as human. So let's do...
history. No, we, we got negatives in all of these. <laughs> oh, let me change my uh, background. We're going to go to... So we already have athletics, intimidation from our class. So we could have picked something that compliments us. Acolyte's good because you get insight and religion. Insight, religion, and acolyte makes sense as a paladin. And so we can put our skill point into stealth, no, arcana, history, investigation, nature, survival, deception. Let's do... I'll do history. We're smart. You get to, you see a bonus to every skill you are proficient with. Athletics isn't that great. Persuasion is better. Intimidation and persuasion are very good. So I'm going to be the talker. Eight wisdom smart. Yep, for battle, it's going to be great. We'll be fine, because we want to min-max our stats as much as possible. And negative modifiers are scary. I know, like, if you're not used to D&D, &D, a negative modifier is terrifying, but it's really not that bad. So, like, if I roll a 16, it becomes a 15. So it's not that, that detrimental. It's, I mean, it's not great but it's not like it's going to ruin your playthrough if you have a negative. And there's lots of ways to, like, enhance your roles, and you can also have other party members make the roles for you um, for a lot of stuff. So, like, if I need someone to do a wisdom check, I'll have the priest do it, you know. Yeah, there are some nasty wisdom saving throws and stuff, but the difference between zero and, zero and one is not that crazy. It's not that not that intense. And losing skill checks can lead to dramatic moments, too. Alright, so I think this is what we're gonna go with. Vengeance Paladin. And we're ready to go. Need a guardian. What is a guardian? Uh, ooh, I like. Oh, she is sexy. I like her. Oh, she's beautiful. Wow, that I love her. What in the hell? By the way, Dan Stare is the Mind Flayer.
Level 20 battles are insane. Three. Absolutely amazing. Paladin is awake. Oh, it looks so good. Where am I? That is called a nursery. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Let's do... Let me move myself over here so you guys see the rolls. Investigation. Investigate the pool. Some dialogue options require a skill check. A dice roll must be met or exceeded. Um, character skills bo add bonus to this roll. So we get a minus one. All right, let's go. First dice roll of the game. Nailed it! <laughs> you notice nothing more than meets the eye. I will, uh... I'm not gonna reach out to some random thing that I don't know what it is. Ah, let's do it. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Reach towards the pool. Ow! <laughs> Damn, ow! Ow! What is this, a uh, mind flayer pod? Someone else got out. Is there a way to see all the interactables or highlight them? Do they have a highlight interactable interactable um, option? Dialogue size, overhead text size, a little bit bigger. Is it alt? Okay, thank you. Full tooltips, pings. Show text background. Dialogue text size is fine. Gameplay. 
Oh, how about um, the camera sensitivity is a little high. There it is, panning speed. Oh, never mind. There's no way to turn it down. That I can tell. Oh, you can only highlight certain things. Like, I see Onyx over there. Oh, I forgot. We got to turn off the weighted dice. Uh, we're Karmic Dice. By the way, the game secretly has something turned on by default that makes it so that if you fail a lot of saves in a row, it starts weighting your dice. Enemies, too, so they... That way you, like, will be guaranteed to get uh, rolls and stuff. So turn that off if you don't want um, to deal with that. Characters are highlighted with outline or circle out of combat. So if you can turn that off if you don't want to um, have the game start weighting the dice for you. Never wanted the easy part. Mind Flayer. Onyx. I shall take it. Dead. So Good. down here we have jump, hide, throw, dash, disengage, weakening strike, uh, backbreaker, main hand attack, concussive smash, um, Non-lethal attack possibly fix weak grip, hindering the target's attacks. These aren't... I don't remember these being in the game. Backbreaker, weakening strike, concussive smash. That, I don't remember being a thing. That must be new for the game. Alright, let's see what's up here. A chest! Game's also just a tiny bit dark. If I can make it a little brighter, um, brightness. Oh, gamma correction. There we go. Just a little bit. So we have a potion of healing, a viridian crystal. Combine three of these to grind them into salts. And some gold. Certain items such as keys, ingredients, files, sort of handing containers in your inventory. Ooh. Scroll of Revivify. Revive a component, they turn to life with one HP. A keychain, alchemy pouch. Oh, that's really nice. They put Alchemy's out items in this alchemy pouch and keys in the keychain to save your inventory space. Thank God. Potion of healing. Oh. Oh, and the items you can use get down this little action bar down here automatically. I love me a keychain. So I warn you again, chat. We're going to be looking around the environment. We're going to find all the little secrets. We're going to explore everything, talk to everybody. So it's going to be a slow process, but we're going to get the zone little by little. Because I want all the loot. Not everyone made it out alive. Um, what is this? Onyx, I'll take that. A rune slate. What's that? Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. Okay. It's not bad. Another chest? Twelve more gold. Hell yeah. They had loot already in the first area. Quite a bit. Lay on hands. Ooh. They changed the way that, uh, the way your channel divinity works. That's much better than the default one. Your allies' attacks deal with extra radiant damage and can daze for 
one for a turn. Yeah, Steam can handle this game for sure. Now, Starfield is the one I'm worried about because that's going to be even more people. Yes, yeah, spell casting works like this. You have a certain number of spell slots, and when you cast a spell, you subtract one spell slot. When you run out, you can't cast spells anymore. So, but you get them back after you do a long rest. Unless you're a warlock, you get warlocks get their spells back on a short rest. Restoration. What's that do? Uh, ah. I feel better. I'm all better now. Okay, open up those chests. I think it's time for us to go out here. Cantrips are free spells that you can always cast forever. But the trade-off is they're pretty weak in comparison. They're about the same as an auto attack on a weapon. Ooh, what is this? A goblin? Open up. We are here. Cool. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Paladin in-game portrait looking serious? Yes. That is a brain jar. The schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews. As Sit in that vicious chair. <laughs> what does this do? I don't think those do anything. We, cerebral a aquarium. Well, you gotta have hobbies as a mind player. Another chair. Eldritch tablet. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Okay. Bunch of fire here. Neural apparatus. Doesn't can't do anything. use this right now. Oh. It's an elevator. Help us. What is that? Sir? You're not looking too... Oh no. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case, free us, please. Uh, let's investigate. Another six. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> so many sixes. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. See, that, that negative one didn't make a difference. I would have failed it either way. Sometimes the dice are just mean. Um, I don't know. Well, he doesn't seem evil. He's just like...
seems like I, I don't know I can't I don't think he's bad I can't tell I'm just gonna destroy break the skull though there we go I smash oh <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh. The brain lifts from the skull, oh. but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Um. No, I don't, he he hasn't shown that he's bad yet, so I'll just. I'll spare him. What the hell? You're free. Our freedom is ours. Aww. Friend. The creature pauses, uh. listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. Well, he's cute. What's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Uh, I don't know. Is there a way to disable the version number on the top right? What should I call you? Us. We are us. You know, he's kind of ugly and cute at the same time. All right, let's go. To the hell we go. We are going to the home. He seems cute. He's my friend. He's just a baby. Uh, nothing about this is smart. What? You're telling me that you would kill a baby just because you think it might be a it might be a problem? Wow, that's that's bold. <laughs> there's some I could tell the decisions chaps would chat would make. Oh, he's got 27 hit points. Oh god. He's got claw oh if I were to attack this thing, it would annihilate me. So much. This thing would obliterate me. <laughs> it's fine though. I have a lot on my mind. He's got I more than double my hit points. In it. Eldritch tablet. Better be cautious. Wait a minute, I don't remember picking a feat. A fighting style, I mean. Did... Did they did they implement fighting style? I don't know. I don't usually pick a fighting style at let me double check Paladin Fiddlers and Oh, it's level two. I get to pick a fighting style. Okay, late level two. So we got yeah. level one time. Fighters, it's level one. Yeah, I chose uh, genitals to make sure that it matches my RP. <laughs> uh, I don't see. Did I miss anything? No, went up there. 
checked all the apparatuses. Behind you. Who the hell are you? Abomination. This is your end. Your head drops and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Hold on, ma'am. I need to make the voice volume much louder than everything else. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. We're turning into mind flayers. Such abominations. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find Ew. the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Demons. The paladin hates demons. Time to smite this wickedness. Oh, the little mine, the little guy gets to go. We're gonna have you use claws on that guy. Oh. Ho, ho. And then you stop there. All right, ma'am. Um, you go ahead and... Well, neither of us can hit that thing yet, so... Move behind him. No time to waste. He's disposable. Dip a weapon. What class are you? Oh, she's a fighter. Okay, so just a regular fighter. She's very easy to play. Ranged attack. On that thing. Oh, yeah. Good job. I can just make it. Just be on my way. Can custom smash possibly is your target? They can't take reactions that are easier to hit. Days for two turns. Requires an action. These weapon actions are new. These were not in the base game. You just do a regular hit too. Oh, it recharges on a short rest. So let's swing. <laughs> Woo! Ha <laughs> You prove surprisingly adequate. Paladin smites to the helm. Get smoked. Some allies join your adventure. You control them the same way you do your own character. We've got a fan sports to take control of them. 
Her name is Lazelle. She's a fighter. I mean, she can help tank. Action, not reaction. All right, let us loot. Ooh, a hand axe. She is a strength, so we want to give her that hand axe. Oh, uh, actually, never mind. She can't equip it as a ranged weapon. Well, that's fine. Without delay. I like how they simplify the damage on weapons, so that way it just shows the number range instead of the dice. Because when I played D and D back in two th 1998, uh, I mean, played Baldur's Gate 1998, I was I looked at the weapons, and I was like. 1d8, what is that? I don't know what that means. Because I was not used to the, this battle style. Oh, thank you, Julia, for the emotes. I appreciate that. We'll get those uploaded soon. You are amazing. Thank you for being so awesome. Oh my god, I almost missed out on loot. Light crossbow. Can Paladin use ranged weapons? I don't think you can. Oh, you can actually. Paladins aren't restricted in, the, in this game that way. Perfect. Uh, since we're a Paladin, we get proficiency in like all weapons, just like the fighter. Okay, ma'am, I know that you're in my party, but you are not the party leader. I am. Thank you. Potion of healing. No imp. Ooh, imp. Okay, anything in the environment. A dead thrall. Empty. Oh, and another mind flare over here I missed. Uh, the way it works is... All ranged weapons, bows, crossbows, scale off of dexterity. But if you can throw the weapon and it scales on strength when you hit it in melee like the hand axe, then that uses strength. So it's a trade-off. Potion of speed. Gain an extra action and plus two armor um, class and double your movement speed. When the condition ends, become lethargic. So it's a potion of haste. Spike bomb. Barb side this bomb explode impact. Make all nearby enemies bleed. Uh, void bulb. Throw the alien ball to target and possibly pull in objects and creatures. They have lots of interesting, like, little items you can use over here. Oh, this interface is amazing. Look at that. You can drag these back and forth. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's great. So they changed Lay on Hands to be to have charges instead of it being like as versatile as it is in the tabletop game. Uh, we won't get any Paladin spells, I think, until next level. That's when we'll start being able to smite. Hand Axe. So as a Paladin, I should equip Hand Axes in my range slot. Or can I not do that? Okay, if I choose throw. Oh, so I can click the throw button and then click the hand axe in my inventory and throw it. So I don't have to have it equipped. That's awesome. That's, su that's so such a clever, convenient design. Yeah, so we can have Mandexes in our inventory and just throw them in battle. Gold. But, like, not coins, just the, the material. Tentacle Aquarium again. Great. You know what? I don't really want a Tentacle Aquarium. 
yes, the Paladin is looking very stoic down here. He's very like, I shall smite all the evil. Evil shall die this day, no matter the cost. Dead throw. We need to get out before it's too late. Simple robe, short sword, go. Okay, short sword is four to nine damage, so I don't want that. Here's the weapon a lot. So I love that. So Larian decided to add a feature that if you have a weapon equipped and you're proficient in it, you unlock special attacks that you can use with that weapon in combat. That's something new they added to the game, which I think makes weapons more fun. That's great. Dead Thrall, three gold. Yeah, it makes weapon choice matter because it means weapons don't just have different like numbers. They have like actual advantages and disadvantages and like special things they can do. Like the short sword. Let's take a look at the short sword. So, we have a flourish attack, which has a chance to throw enemies off balance. And we have a piercing strike, which deals regular damage and possibly inflicts gaping wounds, which causes extra damage on attacks. Attacks deal extra damage when you have that. Ooh, that's amazing. And then my uh, hammer, if I want to stick with more hammers, it does backbreaker, possibly knock your enemy prone, possibly daze your target, and then non-lethal attack possibly inflicts weak grip, hindering the target's attacks. Oh, what? What? I just, what did I do? I pressed top down. I just I pressed the button and now it's now it's top down. <laughs> what did I press? How do I how do I undo it? Strategic view. I activated strategic view somehow. How do I? Is it B? No. O. Oh, thank you. O. Oh. What did I press? That so O turn. So O turns it on and off. Well, that's awesome. Okay. One great thing I noticed already is that as I'm controlling my party member, my other party members automatically follow me unless I tell them not to. So I don't have to like click on them every time I want them to do something. What's that? Let's click on that. There's a cradle there. It could have loot on it. <laughs> Sorry, I was just tired. I needed a nap, okay? I need a little ti a little nap. I was tired. Okay, make sure there's no loot over here. Okay, no loot. God, this level looks so good. Let's go use this mesh. Uh, the size of the Steam download is a very small 122 gigs. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Let's make a manual save. Get ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds before it gets a turn. All right, it's battle time. Wait a minute. Back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. So, I know I shouldn't touch anything with I shouldn't touch anything because it might explode. A real dumb person would just touch something without knowing what it does. Sacrifice the cultist. The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. What the hell? Who is a backpack? Gold and malachite. I'll take it. 
There's wait a minute. There's someone in there. You get me out of this galaxy. We have no time for stragglers. Look for a latch that might open the lid. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? I need a priest, lady. I need the wisdom checks. She's got perception and insight. They're important roles. And she's got guidance. Do you not play D&D? &D? God. I'll look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Although she is nature domain, which is like, why? Uh, that looks like some sort of release thing. The console appears dormant. Look for a switch or release. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Empty socket. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. Yeah. Elaborate relic quarry. You need thief tools in order to open this. Dark mind. A brain in a jar. Uh, ma'am? We don't have anyone that can pick the lock. I don't think you have any picking skills, right, ma'am? No. Well, let's smash it. Boom. Oh, some objects are usually strong. Need to be dealt enough damage to actually damage them. Well, I'm gonna um pick it up and add to wares. I'm gonna take that with me. <laughs> we'll eventually find someone that has lock picking. Okay, I'm gonna haul this heavy ass thing around until we do. I'm not losing out on loot. Damn it. Uh, what are these sigils here? Unleash. Unleash? Aggression. Aggression. Can you do a roll on it, ma'am? That one says unleash. So seeing everything. Not a Lloyd tank. Let me out. I would love to let you out, ma'am. Oh wait, there's a necklace there. I missed that. Burnished necklace. Your map of your surroundings? Let's look in the side rooms first. And see what we can find. So I'm gonna save over our save. And see if we can find Sphincter. Ew. We have an aquarium again. There's we are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Oh. Okay, if that's the helm, then I'm not going that way. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah. I want to say, I want to pause the game for a second and say thank you to Larian. Thank you so much for letting me know that that's the main path. And if I go that way, I will trigger the, I will trigger stuff and won't be able to come back. Thank you very much because I get really annoyed when I'm exploring, trying to find loot and I get locked out and I can't find any more loot because they locked me out. So thank you, Larian for thinking of us gamers. You're the real heroes. Ooh, what's back here? How many hosts of these gay infected? Is that somebody else in there? A uh, slave mind. Ooh, a chest. Potion of healing. Dead thrall. Eldritch rune. A candle and gold. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. 
Yeah. Slave mind. Another brain. I I guess I'm taking that. Why not? What does that sigil say? Could mean anything. You roll, man. What does it say, Endance man? Breeds madness. Perfect. 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 Okay, saving. <laughs> what does it do? Put your hand on the console. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh. <laughs> What? Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. We need to get out of here before it's our turn. Ma'am, why did you push that button? What's wrong with you? Why would you just push a button like that? Like on my, feet. my God. stares at you, weak and dazed. Um, the Mind Flayer in there has 92 HP. Holy hell. A gold key and a scimitar. Wait a minute. Gold key. Oh, the key was for the chest. <gasps> we got it. Okay, we can throw that down. I don't need it anymore. All right, let's go ahead and throw that down there. I don't need to hold hold a chest anymore. Let me out. The console appears dormant. Let's insert rune into the socket. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? Take another look at the powered up console. Come on, come on. We need one good roll, one good roll. Come on. Yeah! We did it. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Let's do it. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Ooh. Uh. Illithid wisdom. Will the pod to open or ignore the sensation? Is it a fate worse than death? Well, um, let's will it to open. Difficulty class of two, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's my dice. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Oh, good. We get our priest. Oh, she dead. <laughs> At last. Thought I was done for. Hello. Hello. 
I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. Uh, dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Did you feel what I felt just before? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? All right, then. Let's get going. I'm Dan, a paladin, sworn to fight evil and smite wickedness. Wherever it is, no matter the cost, I will make evil pay. I also like cupcakes. Shadowheart. One moment. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Oh, here's our uh, quest log. Remember one of the Mind Flayer's minions, an intellect devourer, wants us to go to the helm of the ship. We learn the survivor born now is called Shadowheart. She joins us. Shadowheart, let's see your stats and stuff. Oh. C is apparently Crouch, not character. She is a, oh, Trickery Domain Cleric. Really, of all of them, you go Trickery, one of the worst ones. It's fine, I'll make it work, but it's not what I would have picked. Uh, let's see. Opportunity attack. Uh, Fey ancestry. Fear of wolves. Oh, they gave her, them some like flavor stuff. What spells do you? Well, wait. Let's see. Skills. You are very strong. Wisdom, Constitution, Dexterity, Strength. She doesn't need Strength or con Constitution at all. I'm not gonna have her melee ever, unless. Well, maybe a little bit. Guiding Bolt, that's a good spell. What cantrips did you get, ma'am? Fire Bolt, really? Where do I see your spell book? Uh, let's see, Cleric. Cantrips, there we go. She's got Fire Bolt, Sacred Flame, Resistance, and Guidance. Oh, thank God she has Guidance. You're gonna see me use the hell out of guidance, just to let you know. Resistance? That's terrible. Don't waste don't ever use resistance, it's a waste. Uh firebolt is decent. Alright, she's got pretty good stuff. We'll primarily be using firebolt on her than more than anything else. Alright, uh firebolt is. Is there a way to always see... Oh, cantrips are over here. Can I customize this at all? Is there a way to tweak this bar over here to, like, have the things I want on it? I guess not. I don't know how to customize it. Oh, she's not a companion yet? Oh, so, when, so when they're a full campaign, I will be able to. Let's move. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Unleash aggression, and then, ma'am, could you look at what that one is for us? Me. It means nothing to me. Unleash aggression, something. Oh, the right oh, side has a tiny lock. Stuff. 
Toggle hotbar lock. I would like to drag one of her abilities onto here. Uh, one of the cantrips, just to have it always there. Um, let's see. Bonus action. Well, I can't figure out how to customize this thing at all, but maybe I'll figure it out later. Still breathing. All right, Despite well, everything. we'll just have to manually cast it. Okay, we got everything that I can think of. We didn't press these buttons, though. All right, let's um, play around with some buttons. Why not? Unleash. Uh -oh. Oops. Okay, they're attacking us. Great. Uh, Ma'am, uh, go ahead and firebolt. Oh wait, that uses intellect, so we don't want her casting that really. Uh, it's about the same either way. Fireball! Oh, you nailed him! Good job! Good job! Oh! Acid splash, very little damage. Okay, brain creature, go attack. All right, uh, ma'am, if you want to run up and just smack him. You bow, or you break. Woo! Good job. More loot for us. A mug and some gold. And then that guy as well. A quill. I'll take that. I don't know what that is right there. It says Nautiloy Tank. It looks like it might explode, but I'm not sure. Ma'am, you go ch you go find out. To battle. Go see if it explodes. It does. Okay. I can't tell what that does though. Leave something on the ground. Ma'am, I'm gonna give you a heal with my Let's see. Heal a target. Four healing, two healing. I'll give you two healing. Heal! The Paladin is so righteous and holy. Wow. He's I would I would be honored to be blessed by the Paladin. He's so nice. All right, let's go towards the helm over here. Oops, I closed the door. Over here. One day I'll catch a break. All right, let's find out what's in here. They're saving the game automatically, which is usually a bad sign. God. Thrall, connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. Battle. Uh oh. This thing's falling fast. Got to write it. Oh god, we have demons. We have a lesser imp. 
and a hell boar. Go grab him. In turn. Stay focused. Now it's time for Shadow Heart. Can you? That's a demon, so we do not want to use fire on it. Let's instead. Oh, Sacred Flame's right over here. We'll use Sacred Flame. 1d8. You have a higher chance of one sh of finishing this guy off. Yeah! Good job. Very, very nice. But in your turn. Ma'am, you need to run up. On the move. And you need to range attack on that guy. You, you tried. You tried, I'll give you that. Not enough movement. Damn. She gets second win healer. I forgot about that. All right. In your turn. Oh, God. Do not... Do not aggro that Mind Flayer. Mind Flayer bad. All right. So, I can't quite reach over there. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw... Going to throw up, uh, not dip, throw. Or throw a hand axe at him. Yeah! <laughs> Get wrecked. And in turn. Ow. Yeah, you are going to have to double move, so. Go ahead and run over there. And your turn. Okay, Shadow Heart, go ahead and move up. Sacred Flame on that thing. Good job. And turn. Uh, move up as best as you can. Go ahead and do a ranged attack on the imp. Easy. And your turn. The paladin shall... We gotta get over to there. Okay, we got a long way to go then. I will move up. I can't really do too much. I don't have any rain stuff, so. I will do a little attack on that guy. <laughs> Whee! I hit him! No, I missed. Never mind. Oh. Critical miss. Okay, uh, little dude, you need to go to the console as fast as possible. Get over there. He's gonna get there soon. Concentrate. On the move. Mind Flayer and the guy are fighting each other. Oh, we have to reach transponder for the Nautilus crashes. We have 13 turns to get there. Let's all just dash over that way. That way where the party's not separated. Uh-oh. Hurry before they strike. I'm trying. Don't scare me like that. I thought I triggered something. Oh no, there's more demons. Okay. This is fine. In your turn. Waits. We all got a dash. Alright, keep running. 
How do people download this game so quickly? Um, I was lucky enough that they gave me a review copy so I could play it, um, I could have it pre-downloaded. Okay, I'm gonna dash as well. Don't worry, the Paladin is here to help you. These boots of I fear everything. no evil. Move a few more feet. Let's switch to our melee weapon. I believe the drops should be um, starting any minute. I think about 30 minutes the drops will start. They have some really fun uh, items that you can get. Okay, you go up here, attack that guy. In your turn. Let's finish this. You go ahead and move up. Do Sacred Flame on that guy. You can finish him off. Yeah. Good job. You can't quite reach, but you're so close. Can you? Nope, can't quite reach. So go ahead and do a, a bow shot. Nope. Oh well. Let's see. Um. Jump with high strength is better than running, really. Well, jump is 25 feet, so running is 30 feet, so it, it's not quite as good. But that's really far jump. That's amazing. What? It's a. Uh, I can use it as a bonus action for 10 additional feet, though. That I did not notice. So we can move up and then do a 10 foot bonus action jump. All right, go ahead and give him the old swing. What? Did, did you miss? I, I think we swung at the air. Oops. Uh, shove is a bonus action. I'll, I'll shove you. Oh, whoops. That's dip. No, shove. I'm gonna shove you. Ha <laughs> ha! Because that accomplishes a lot. Uh, go ahead and attack that guy. There, dead. Move to the console. You're almost there. This creature can't activate the transponder. What? He told me he could. Can't afford to let up. Oops! Did I accidentally skip her turn? Oh shit. I, I, I clicked too quick. Oh, that's not good. Be careful about clicking. You can actually skip your altar. In turn. Seems simple enough. Press it! Transponder, you've made it in time. Oh, God.
these cutscenes have been amazing so far. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> now this is where early access started. I remember this part. Who did that? Who saved me? Oh, plot armor, of course. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Check yourself for injuries. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Uh-oh. Uh, we added a couple more emotes, guys, if you... Um They're all the main characters. You'll pin that for you guys. We have a email for each of the main party members. Uh, two for Paladin. Join us. I know. <laughs> okay, we save. We are officially out of the tutorial.